Hey there, welcome back to the final part of this week's episode of Leading Our Own Way. I hope you found inspiration in our guest journey this week. Today, we'll leave you with some key takeaways and actionable insights that you can lean on. Now let's wrap up with some powerful lessons that can help guide you on your own path. Don't forget to tune in for a brand new guest next week on Monday. But for now, enjoy this week's. Please subscribe to the channel if you don't already as well. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Technology has moved on so much and pharmaceuticals have moved on so much that I feel like we have lost our own agency. We, we, we've lost the feeling of control over doing something for ourselves. We go to the doctor and we hand over to them mm. um, all control. And if they suggest a pill, we take it. I mean, I've, I've not really been like that. My mum was a nurse, by the way, and she's definitely not one for taking pills. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, I'm guilty of that. I, you know, I got diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis, uh, you know, an autoimmune issue, a very inflammatory, mm. you know, my lower back. And I would yeah. struggle. I struggled for about nine years to sleep. Mm. And eventually a doctor found it that was on the borderline of ankylosing spondylitis. So I didn't qualify for the cortisone treatment. I like cortisol. Well, how, mm. What do you say? How, what's it called? Cortisol, yeah. Cortisol treatment. Cortisone, sorry. Cortisone, yeah. yeah. Hydrocortisone, sorry. That's right. Yeah, they wouldn't I've, be... We wouldn't be pumping a stress hormone into you. <laughs> no, no. I know. And I say cortisol all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I didn't qualify for that, but I was in the pain nevertheless. So it was, mm. I say borderline because the back specialist said it was borderline. You might fall into that category and then we can treat you. But no one ever spoke to me about let's reverse it. Let's mm. go back. Let's, so I took strong anti-inflammatories. Now, this is my connect with the gallbladder. So this I was, came to me, that might be the part of the reason, but I was only on them for maybe six months and I'd, I'd learned not to take them every day. I took them apart, days apart because I knew, I felt like they were lasting and the doctor was like, no, they, it's out your system in 24 hours. So that doesn't make sense. So I was like, well, I don't need to take them every day. Mm. Anyway, I was struggling to sleep, but I was happy to sleep. So I was, I was happy to take the tablets because I was able to sleep after nine years. I was in pain. Like Anyway, that's when I went on the journey of doing all this stuff reversed it, not touched a tablet yeah. in a year, yeah. in over a year, well over a year. It's been an operation since two years. So, um, yeah, it's probably not touched a tablet for about two years. They're still in my cupboard for safety, for just in case. But my point is I went to the root cause and I reversed the pain. Yeah. So if anyone says to me, you can't reverse an autoimmune, well, I go, well, I have. Of course you can. We know you can. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm not, well, I'm not a doctor, so I can't, as a, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but I know I have, so I can mm. say I have reversed my autoimmune issue. So um, I've got a client right now um, who's come to me for a brain health, um, but prior to that, she had Graves' disease, which is a thyroid condition, and she reversed that completely with diet. Yeah, everything seems to stem back to that, doesn't it? Mm. So, it re really you does. know, we know... It's frustrating to me that, you know, if you go back a few years, um, diabetes was something that had to be treated with insulin or medication. There was no way of turning it around. And now everybody knows that you can turn that around with diet. Yeah. So can't, can't we make that leap that if that's true of diabetes, surely it's true of other chronic conditions as well? I mean, I'm yeah. not saying that you can cure every single chronic condition. You can't cure Alzheimer's. It's going to be there. But you can reverse the symptoms yeah. by keeping your off. body, um, giving it the right nutrients and the right sleep and all the things it needs, you can, you know, reverse the symptoms. Yeah. Well, if you come up with the protocol, they're going to come back. My mom, yeah. for example, um, she was doing really well on the protocol. Um and she doesn't even do the whole protocol, which drives me crazy. But there you go, she was doing well. And then she had a fall and she cut her leg quite deeply. And she ended up in hospital for 17 days. And um, it was really scary because she was way worse in hospital than I'd ever seen her before she went on the protocol. She was confused. She'd never been confused before. 
She didn't remember getting to the hospital. She had no idea how she got there. She, because the cut was on the back of her leg, so she couldn't even see anything. She didn't even know why she was in hospital. You know, she was looking and saying, I, I don't even know why I'm here. Um, and by the end of 17 days in hospital, she was really confused. And she yeah. was talking about things that weren't there. Um, now, I'm not just saying it was coming off the supplements. I mean, she was getting awful hospital food. So no nutrition whatsoever. Um, mm. She was probably kept awake all night. It's quite noisy. She was on a ward with um, an on dementia ward where everyone on that ward was was worse than her. So she wasn't getting any interaction. Um, and one of the ladies on the ward was making noises all, all day and I assume all night. So all of that didn't help. Um, so I know that if you're if you come off the protocol, you get worse. Um, and I was really scared that when we got back home, she she wouldn't get better. Um, I, I don't think she's as good as she was before she went into hospital, but she's, you know, right up there. Um, yeah. And I've got the same same experience with clients. Quite often clients will slip a bit over Christmas, for example. My very first, my very first Christmas um, in this job, I got in touch with my clients afterwards, after Christmas, just to check in and say, you know, how you doing? Did you slip? Do you need help getting back on the diet? And they all said, no, I'm back on it already. I noticed the difference. Oh, and that's what it's about. Mm. That's what you've done. And that's what I've done is mm. you've been able to self-reflection and you can start to look at the food, the bad food, as the the way we look at alcohol. And everybody looks yeah. at alcohol and say, oh, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be fucked up Sunday. I'm mm. going to be ill. They mm. know they're going to be ill. Mm. Got to do the same with food. If you know you're going out for dinner and you're going to have all this food with sugar in it, or you're going to have a movie night with chocolate with your friends, know the next day, once you've done it for so long and you know the, how clear you are and how healthy you are, mm. know that when you do do that lash out that's fine if you live by an 8 to 20 rule which i do now mm -hmm. um you know you're going to be off now i know i'm not crawling in, lying in bed all day because i've had sugar the last day but i can self-reflect on how no, my mind is working you know. yeah feel it like i feel like it running through my blood it's bizarre um and before i, I want to come to talk about your book briefly before we do come oh. Uh, towards the end of the one, but I am interviewing a quickly. I I I, uh, I want to just test my own knowledge with you, the expert. Um, I'm interviewing a politician here, the state of Victoria, very soon, mm -hmm. and he, he's in education and in mental health. And I say this to principals, headmasters, who and headmistresses, what we call them, principals here. Mm -hmm. uh, I say to principals, and I talk to fellow teachers, and I talk about the two top things that we could change and look at, or at least teach, sorry, and talk about at a more deeper level. Those two things, I believe, and so you can tell me your opinion or if you think it's fact, I don't know, but the two top things at the top of the chain for everything that we need to look at, sleep and food. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with you. <laughs> okay. When when I tell, you know, I, I've done a few podcasts and quite often people will say, um, if there's just one thing the, the the listeners do, what would you do? Um, I would say cut out the processed foods, the ultra processed foods. Yeah. Um, look on the back of the packet. If you can't pronounce some of the ingredients, if you don't recognise what they are, if they wouldn't be in your store cupboard, don't eat mm. it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I put sleep in there because I want people to prepare better for the day. And I yeah. think if we, it's one thing, we've conquered food. Humans have conquered food. Mm. And what I mean by that is we've invented fake food. So yeah. We've, we've conquered it because we, we can feed our bodies with it and we stay alive still and we don't die. Whereas we can't conquer sleep because if you don't eat for two weeks, you can get by. But if you don't sleep, you can slowly shrink your brain. Sleep is so important. Yeah. And really I know is. that's a really awful thing. If any of your um, viewers are um, struggling with sleep, if, if they're struggling with insomnia, that's the last thing they need somebody to tell them. How yeah. important it is because true. it's a piling pressure on, it's making it worse. Yeah, true, yeah. And they've probably had all their friends and everybody they meet giving them tips and, oh, this is what you need to do. And they've probably tried loads of things. Yeah. Um, I would say try them all at the same time. You've probably tried everything but one thing at a time. Yeah, that's good advice. You try quite a few things all together. That might be just additive enough to tip you over the edge. Yeah. Um, but there are there are other things you can do. Um, if if you have not been sleeping well um, for more than three months, you can actually find that you have um, kind of reprogrammed your brain. 
and that doesn't mean it can't be reprogrammed again. Exactly. So, yeah. um, I'd suggest if, if you've if you've genuinely tried everything, I would suggest trying CBTI, cognitive behavioural therapy for insomnia. Yeah. Um, that might do the trick. But yeah, um, back to the the key point. You know, sleep is so important. When we're having deep sleep, our bodies are repairing and our brains are washing out all of the leftover proteins and clearing our brain out. Yeah. When we're having REM sleep, the uh, rapid eye movement sleep, when we're dreaming, that's our hippocampus sorting out all the memories and storing them in the right places from everything that's happened today. Yeah. Um, So you can see that if you're not getting quality, it's not just even about the time, it's about the quality of the sleep as well. If you're not getting deep and REM sleep, then... And, you know, all your listeners will know we've all had a bad night's sleep and then just felt rubbish the next day. We've all been there. Absolutely. And it's it's oh. the same way you were just talking about food. We know when we when we don't do the right thing, we know. We, we yeah. know our performance is impaired. Yeah, absolutely. Well, another way you're leading your own way today, Lindsay, mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like I'm that guy from the old um, – got the wrong picture down, sorry. Yeah, um, that was me, not the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Lindsay, everyone. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm the, what was that show called in the UK? Um, Today is your, you know, your life. This is oh, your life, your the life. red book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people won't know what that is if they're in America or anywhere else. But this, t- talk about your book and I'm be lucky enough to have it on my shelf very soon. Yep. May I add? But we not have to go with the picture. Yet. That's why he hasn't got a copy yet. It's not launched, but he it's does launched. have to That's right. the cover. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to, yeah, so I put it in the frame for everybody to see for the time being. Talk to us about your book. Yeah, so uh, it's called What Did I Come In Here For Again? It's a little bit lighthearted, but um, I felt like I wanted to appeal to people who perhaps wouldn't get a serious book. <laughs> I feel like my tribe, my clients would buy whatever I called it, but I, I wanted to appeal to, to more people because I, I would like to get the word out there more. Um, but then the subtitle is How I Improve My Brain Health and Memory with the Bredesen Protocol. And basically, um, it's my story. There's uh, stories from my mum in there as well and a few little case studies from some clients. Um, but basically, it's me working through everything I worked through and um, all of the 12 different areas of brain health. Um, so there are actually 15 chapters, not... Um, 12 <laughs> because there's a couple of chapters in there about uh, motivation and character strengths and, and planning um, and habit forming um, but then I work through all of the 12 areas starting with food um, my wheel of life my little self-assessment is in there so you can decide what order to do the chapters in uh, basically every chapter you do a little self-assessment to see how you're doing in that area already and then you hear a little bit about um, how I tackled it, what what things I found difficult, how I overcame them. There's some tips and sort of tricks and, and things in there from me. Uh, for some of the chapters, there's a little case study from a client where, where I felt like they'd really learned something special in that area. Um, and there, right in the back of the book, there are coaching templates as well. So um, once you've read the chapter, you can go to the coaching template and work through a bunch of questions to, to really help you explore um, how you're doing in that area and what you could do and what could be some nice simple things that you could start with and what do you want to build up to, et cetera. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the book. I love it. And I love that you've put case studies in there as well so people yeah. can actually refer to the evidence as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if you mentioned it before, and I don't recall if you did. Um, maybe I should check my memory, but it, people should buy the book but so people know what the 12 sections are. Could you just list them off? Oh, well, now I'm going to have to remember what they all are. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just put you on the spot. <laughs> it's your book. <laughs> I've got to remember 12 things. <laughs> yeah, it definitely starts with food. Food, yeah. And then there's movement. Oh, I'm sorry, I've got one here. I'm going to have to put my glasses on. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. So that's food right. I, and movement yep. first, and then sleep, what we've talked about, and then there's stress. Yes. There's stimulation, which is about learning new things, but also yeah. about brain training and, and different things that you can do to um, use your brain rather yep. than lose it and um, there's all section about detox so that's about detoxing your food but also your environment and escaping from the plastics that are wrapped around our food that are leaching into our food and the plastics in our kitchens yeah um and lots of other areas of detox 
I do mention supplements. I don't go into loads of detail because I'm a health coach, not a doctor or a nutritionist. But yeah. um, I do, I do mention it, and I do sort of talk about how to look for um, quality supplements. Yeah. And then there's a section on recreation and fun, and friends and family, and yeah. oral health, and then finding meaning and purpose in life and uh, your environment. You are nailing um, every single point. Loads of those in this session, actually. <laughs> no, we have. We've, absolutely. I was going to say, we've, I think we're touching on every single key point that I tend to bring, uh, you know, to talk talk about. And, and you know, you've mentioned connection and relationship. And I go back to the four C's, you know, of connection, um, contribute, cook and cope. Mm. Um, not in that order. I think the, if I'm going, it's actually off the diary of the CEO coming back yeah. to him again. I've forgotten what the doctor was called, but you know, the four C's of contentment would be C for connect, touch base with friends and family, social interactions, have a tribe and so on. Second one, C contribute, give to the world, um, behind your purpose and stuff like that. C cope. So mindfulness, sleep, exercise, and then cook. So touching on nutrition, whole foods and so on. Um, yeah. And don't worry, I can't remember all the chapters of my book, so don't stress. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a brain coach. <laughs> you're, you're being pressured by me on air. So, um, Lindsay, I've got a couple of two things before we go. Okay. How I typically end the podcast. If you was going to give, I feel like you've already answered this, but if it was just a one liner, mm. if you was going to give anyone a piece of advice based on all the subjects we we're going to de- mm. uh, g- g- that we discussed today's episode, just as a quick overview, one liner, what mm. would that be to focus on um, um, in terms so of your journey and what you've I been on? Yeah, I mentioned already kind of processed foods. Yeah. Um, there is an app that I absolutely love called Yucca. Why you? I've got it. Yeah, it's great, it. isn't it? How good is it? I oh my love God. it. I I've love been showing that. the kids. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. So yeah. with that app, um, you can scan any barcode of any food, but also any personal care product, and it will oh. tell you all the ingredients, um, but it will um, rank those ingredients and tell you if there's anything in them that are not so good for you. So it will yeah. tell you if there's an endocrine disruptor, something that is um, affecting your hormone systems if any of them are carcinogenic, um, creating a risk for cancer, or if they're irritants and allergens. Yeah. Um, but the really great thing is if you scroll down, if, you, if, you've got, if you're scanning a bad product, if you scroll down, um, you can see lots of recommendations of similar products, but much healthier for you. So uh, it makes it much easier to do your shopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to show it then, but it had products on the screen, so I probably shouldn't show those yeah, products in case I get that. sued. Um, <laughs> but um, there's, there's in that section, there's hazardous sections, isn't there? And it goes mm. through the phosphates that might be damaging to the kidneys, to the brain, to what contributes to ADHD and things like that. They're yeah. all in there. It's fascinating. Mm. And, and, and I've shown people and they go, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I really love this app so much. I love it for myself. Mm. But you can imagine in my life, I tell all my friends and everybody I know, everybody I meet, I tell them about ultra processed things and, and what have you and, and toxins in uh, personal care products and what have you. And I've I've implored people to read the labels and I, n- nobody ever listens to me. Nobody no. ever listened until I shared this app. And now all my friends are really excited. And, you know, they come back to me and say, oh, I took the app shopping. Oh, my God, this is so amazing. Um, and I, I went through my bathroom and I threw half my things away, <laughs> you know, so people, it, it just makes it easier and accessible for people. And that, that's, that's what I want for the book, really. I want the book to make yeah. the whole thing really accessible and easy. Well, I'm really looking forward to reading your book. I can't wait to have it on your shelf so people can see it. And I'm proud to say a lot of my guests have had some books and I love sharing that. And I love yeah. it. Feel, it helps me fill the studio and, and it backs up my journey as well. It contributes to my journey. Um, so I, I will put, all the information of your services, books in the show notes. If anyone wants a copy, it'll be there for you to buy from the show notes because I'm, I'm only going to launch this once the book's launched anyway. So we'll put it all in for you. And um, yeah, I can't wait to, I can't wait to put it on there. I can't wait to have it on the shelf. So it'll be constantly displayed. For, you're part of the low family now, you see, you're part yeah, of the leading our own family. Yeah. Um, the, um, and that's really good advice. I think going back to it, that's why we need case studies, isn't it? Because people actually want to see the evidence. They don't like to take yeah. it from the, you know, I've sometimes I step back, oh, I don't step back very often, but I step, try and step back and not give too much advice because I'm not 
you know, they people need qualifications these days, don't need to be able to verify what they say. But I'm reading everybody who's done more than, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a shame that you need a qualification to be able to give advice, but it's just the way of the world, unfortunately. So um, that's why your friends go off the app, don't they, rather than yeah. you? Yeah. Not that you don't have the qualifications, you do, but they just don't want to listen to their friend. They want to see it physically on something. <laughs> They just want it to be easy, don't they? They don't want to have to read every label of everything you buy. I mean, your shopping would take forever. <laughs> That's true. No, and, and, and I don't think I, I won't want to do that either. Um, the last question. Hmm. I think I've got two questions, actually. What is the future for Lindsay and, and the business? Wow. Um, so I've got a really exciting announcement. I didn't tell you about this oh. um, when we talked before. I've just started working with a colleague and we are going to uh, do a, I don't want to call it a retreat. Um, I think I want to call it a Bredesen kickstart. Um, but it will be like a holiday, a week away. We're going to find a lovely venue and clients will be able to come along um, for a week and just get immersed in the Bredesen protocol. Um, so we make it really easy for them. Um, so we're yeah. going to do everything that they need to do so they, they know how to do it. Um, we're going to have uh, an amazing chef who um, can cook some really great food so that so that you can see how lovely keto eating can be. But we're also going to do some cooking lessons so people can learn to actually make some of the recipes themselves. And we're going to do, well, basically, we're just going to do everything we can uh, for the Bredesen protocol um, for everybody for that week. So, uh, so that's brand new that you that you weren't aware of and weren't expecting. Amazing. <laughs> And yeah, um, for me, the future is just building a bigger client base so I can get to the point where I can do group coaching because I think uh, people supporting each other in groups is, yes, is really powerful. valuable. Mm. Um, I, I've, I've got plenty of people that I could put in a group, but I really want to put people together at a similar stage. Mm. Um, so um, I think that's what's important uh, that, you know, I, I can give people the right group to be part of. Um, yeah, I love it. Yeah. Final question for you. I yeah. I ask this everyone. It's becoming a bit of a leading our own way uh, tradition. Um, I, again, I feel like I probably should change it because I feel like we have the we do have it answered. But a, a one liner, very mm. simple one liner, very strict on this one. Mm. And I, did, I don't know if I asked you this in the pre interview. Maybe I did. I don't know. I'm a bit worried about what you're going to ask now because <laughs> yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> it's in my title of my book. <laughs> what is your purpose? What is my purpose? My purpose is helping people to um, improve their brain health and their memory um, and to feel confident and have hope that you can live to your 90s to be 100 and be sharp as a tack. Love it. Perfect. You didn't have to be scared. <laughs> Lindsay, thank you so much. You're offering um, so much to the world. Um, your clients are very lucky to have you, and um, I'm glad you've you've done what I would have loved to have done. And I'm studying, and and hopefully I can take that a bit further in the future. But uh, I'm I'm inspired by you. I love your journey, and um, thank you for sharing. We we could do a definitely another episode on all the brain stuff. Yeah. Um, we should do that in the future, maybe. Um, yeah. I'd love and, to. And um, I hope we stay connected. And, oh, we um, will. We definitely will. Um, I've cool. really enjoyed it. I just want to say thank you to you. Um, oh. Really enjoyed our chat, but also the opportunity to just um, reach a new audience and give people hope that um, they can do something. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's powerful to share your story as well of why you're doing what you're doing as well, though, right? You know, not just the brain stuff, but why you why you lead in your own way and how you lead in your own way. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lindsay. I, I really appreciate it. And I, I um we will touch base and um I hope I know everyone's going to be able to take pieces away from you and uh, and maybe they'll start to consciously think about their brain a little bit more in their mind and if they are experiencing any of these things to maybe go a little bit further and think mm -hmm. about and reflect self reflect and whether they go see someone like yourself or take it upon themselves to do the research as well. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay, and uh, to everybody else. Um, thanks for joining us on Leading Our Way, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Thanks for listening and watching Leading Our Own Way. So we can stay together forever and share more incredible journeys, please subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss next week's episode and what that amazing guest has to offer to the world. Please support Leading Our Own Way and we'll get you on next week's episode.